All right, guys, here's my copper dagger that I made with thermite in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that one, I highly recommend it. And those are just some before pictures so you get the general idea of what it looked like. And now in this video, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be wrapping leather cord around the hilt of my dagger and around the guard and the handle and all of that, just so I can get like a better grip. And it also looks a lot better. So I bought 1.5 millimeter leather cord, about 30 feet of it. And that worked out pretty well. And I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out if you're curious. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be leaving about four inches right there, you can see. Just hanging off the edge so that I can tie a knot at the end. And now I'm just wrapping um, the leather cord around the, the right guard. And I do that about ten times. Then I'm going to go around the back to get my X pattern or my like diagonal. So I go diagonally around there about eight times or so. So I'll go do that. And I just finished that up. So from here, I'll be going on the left side, the guard, and wrapping that around. I do that another 10 times. All right, once I have that done, I'll be finishing the X pattern. So I go around the back and wrap that around about eight to 10 times. And now that I have that done, I'll be getting the grip for the handle. So I just go right there and just go right around the side and I just do an uh, up and down motion. So I go all the way down, back up, all the way down just to spread the grip evenly and make sure there's no like raised parts or anything. So I'll go do that and then show you guys when I'm about to tie the knot. So here are the two strands of leather cord, and I'm about to tie it in a knot, which you can see there. And I just kind of loop it around the back, and I make sure I pull it pretty tight because I don't want anything unraveling in the long run. And there you can see I'm pulling it pretty tight. And now I'm going in for the double knot. Once I double knot it, I make sure I tuck the knot into like a little nook or crack just to make sure it's not exposed or sticking out like an awkward little bump there. So I tuck that in. I think I did that off camera and then right now I'm just kind of showing how it looks and I could already feel the grip feels pretty nice, a lot better than just holding onto bare metal. So now I'll be um, trimming the excess cord and then just making sure that's all tucked away. All right guys, so the dagger's all done. I finished wrapping up the hilt and I'll just be showing you a bunch of different angles of it, then some photos at the end. So stick around to watch all of that. And remember there's a ton of different designs you can do for this. I kind of just came up with on my own to do like an X and the two little side things and of course around the handle. So if you ever do something like this on your own, just keep that in mind. And write down in the comments below if you have any good ideas for different things I should cast out of copper because I still got a bunch of copper left over that I can do for more castings. And I could even maybe try this same dagger design out of aluminum or bronze. So that would be pretty neat. And yeah, that's about it.